Hello lords and ladies. Do you remember Goosebumps? You know, the scary books for kids. I love them. I probably owned or at least read most of the original series before missing out on the stuff that came afterwards. Oh, and the TV show? God, that was good. Though a bit corny at times. I recently binged the entire show on Netflix and am even reading one of the books on my reading channel. You should go check that out. Basically, what I'm getting at is I love Goosebumps, so when I learned that they were releasing an anthology comic book, I flipped with joy. I enjoyed comic books and had been wishing for a comic book for Goosebumps for a while now. The plan for this comic seems to be three issue arcs, the first beginning with this issue, Monsters at Midnight. The story is about the sisters Jenny and Mia who are staying with their grandmother for the summer and they're not too happy about it. Staying with a boring grandparent is essentially the worst thing for a kid during summer break. Things aren't helped by Mia's broken leg, Ginny having asthma, or the both of them being at each other's throats all the time. Things do get a little more exciting when the two happen across a creepy bookstore that seems to stay open until midnight and is filled with tons of books you'll probably recognize, like R.L. Stein's own Goosebumps, or even the freaking Necronomicon. The first issue is clearly the setup, and gives us a peek at the girls before they'll probably be trying to survive Horrorland in the next two issues. But as a result, the issue comes out feeling a little weak. I guess I was expecting more. The writing and dialogue between the sisters isn't horrible though, and I think Ginny and Mia will make great protagonists. I love their various interactions throughout the issue. Also, the art's pretty decent. It's not extremely spooky, which could be a downside, but it is expressive and nice to look at. Plus, I think the artist will change with each story arc, so if this isn't doing it for you, there's always the next one. Anyway, even though it was somewhat weaker than I'd have liked, this is still a good first issue, and I am genuinely excited to see where the story goes now that the characters have entered Horland and met Slappy. Have you read the issue? If so, let me know your thoughts on it. And if you're looking to get a copy, you can get it on Comixology or at your local comic book shop. Thanks for watching, and take care.